Hello everybody, this is Jacob and welcome to part two of the drop downs in Excel. If you are just looking to know how to add drop downs in Excel, you can either check out part one of the video or you can wait for the first part and I'll go ahead and do an example before we get into the actual problem. So when you're learning something new in Excel, I personally think that it makes a lot more sense when you understand the situation. That way you can just focus on, well, what do I do in Excel to make this happen? So in this example, we're going to be looking at shirt size, shirt color, shirt style, long sleeve or short sleeve, and then quantity ordered. And based on these options that we select, certain prices are going to be selected. So without further ado, let's go ahead and add one of the drop downs. So you want to select the cell that you want to add a drop down. Then go over to the data tab. Once you're on the data tab, go over to data validation, data validation. You're going to change the allow from any value to list. Once you've done that, go ahead and click down on source. Go over to what you want to select. And I always have a blank option just in case. And then you click OK. So then now notice this. Drop down is available. You can click on all of these. So by the way, I would rather do this on the fly just to kind of teach it. I feel like it makes more sense that way as opposed to having it pre-scripted and you know everyone having a lot of questions and not being able to really be interactive with it. So this is what we're going to do in the example. What we're going to do is put the price off to the side of all of our options. So for a small search size is going to be $15 and then what we're going to do is make all of them $15 except for the 3XL we're gonna make it eighteen dollars now let's talk about the shirt color we can either say that all of them are not gonna make a difference what color they are or we could say something like the blue is going to cost a dollar extra let's just say there's a shortage of ink or something like that so uh, blue is gonna cost us one dollar extra and then everything else nothing so now let's say this. Well, long sleeve shirts are going to cost an extra $2 to make because it uses more material, while a short sleeve won't cost anything extra. So basically what we have is all of these prices. Well, one second, let me go ahead and add this, and then we'll just switch it over to currency. We'll do the same here. Switch it over to currency and then currency so you know making this will make sense kind of when you go through it so let's let's just build a basic example just in our minds well what if we select a small shirt so we've got you know fifteen dollars and then we want a blue shirt so we add a dollar that's sixteen and then we want a long sleeve so now that totals to eighteen dollars if we want just one so we want to be able to build something that can calculate this by selecting this, selecting this, selecting this, and so forth. And then, you know, it depends on the quantity. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this page. Now notice I've left empty columns. The reason for that is to create our calculation. So what we're going to do is something called a VLOOKUP. If you have not done a VLOOKUP, I will be creating a video shortly on how to do them, but hopefully you are a little more advanced if you're at this point. Uh, so basically what it does is it looks up the number or the word or whatever you have here, and then it looks up something off to the left or the right of it. So what we're going to do is equals VLOOKUP. Once you type in VLO, you can go ahead and press tab. That'll save you a lot of time instead of having to type it up. So you want to select what are you looking up. And in this case, it's going to be this cell. Then it's going to say, well, where do you want to look it up at? Now, remember, we have the shirt size in column A, and we want to return something from column B. So there are two columns in total. So once we have selected both of these, you'll do a comma, and then you'll do two. And this is the column that it's selecting. It's saying, hey, here is the shirt size but we want to bring back the dollar amount which is the second column then you want to do a comma and then a zero 
and then do a close parentheses. So now do this. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to look up everything that you have. Now remember, the 3XL was $18. So let's go ahead and see if that works. And it did. So now let's go ahead and move on to the shirt color. So equals VLO. That's all you have to type in. Tab. And we're looking up the shirt color. Then we're going to be looking it up on this tab. So we want to grab C and D this time. And once again, it's two columns. So let's do another comma, two columns, zero to close it up. That just basically means it has to be an exact match. So remember, black didn't have any type of, you know, extra dollar amount to it, but blue did. So notice there's the one dollar. So now let's move on to the final VLOOKUP. So equals VLO tab. Let's look up the um, shirt style. Let's go over to the table and we're going to select two again. So we'll do another comma, two, comma, zero to make it be an exact match. And notice that for the long sleeve we have an extra two dollars. And if we select nothing, we, we nothing comes back, and then short would be zero extra dollars. So now you're going to tell yourself, well, hey, you know, let's say we selected a 3XL that was blue, that was a short sleeve. You know, we know that that would be $19 if it was times one. So now the total down here, we're going to do equals a sum. Hold on. Equals sum of this plus this plus this and then we're going to times it by the quantity and that's all you'll have to do we'll go ahead and make that a dollar just so it makes more sense but basically that's all you have to do so now we could sit here and say something well I want to order two instead it's gonna double it and if you order 20 it's going to do that for you and you're gonna say oh well I want a uh, small instead there are some more examples of that um, so let's say you know you could literally do any option that you added now and all you needed to know was how to do drop downs V lookups and being organized and being organized is just simply creating the dashboard here to select all of your options so I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any more ideas on something that you would like to learn, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I would be glad to create a tutorial video.